Hey guys, my first video talking, so you know, I sound kind of awkward because I don't know what to say, but basically today I'm going to teach you guys how to size your nails so that you know what size your nails are for when you order. So I'm going to show you two methods that we use on our website. One, you're going to need a measuring tape like this that like is flimsy. The next thing you need is going to be a coin, any coin. We have all the coins just in case. But for now, I'm going to use a quarter. Let's say you don't want to do the measurements first. I'm just going to show you guys. If you're unsure, I would go a size up. Okay, so if you go on my website, this is on the iPad. It might look different for you if you're on like the computer or their phone but on your phone you're gonna see three lines the hamburgers and you're gonna click on that and it's gonna take you to the drop down menu you're just gonna go to read me and here's sizing chart you can also track your order read our policy and our about us and all that this goes in depth of how to size it okay this is the first method and this is the second method that i will show you this size is made specifically for the nails that we carry so i'm gonna show you that <laughs> Okay, so for the first one, on my website, it also says that, like, we live in the U.S., so we use things like inches and centimeters, and I know these are counted as millimeters. If you want, you would have to write down all of your measurements and then go into Google and convert them. But if you don't want to, and that's too much work for you, because this is already a lot of work, I get it, you could still send us your size in centimeters, and I will just convert it myself. The next thing you're going to need is probably like your phone or whatever you're using to write down stuff or like a notepad i'm gonna use a notepad and a pen oh. i'm only gonna show you like a couple nails because you'll get the gist from that you're going to take the cm side the centimeter side and then you're going to do each nail if you want to be sure and do all 10 of your nails you can do that but like if you are confident that both your hands are the same size both your nails are the same size then you could just do one hand for the sake of this video i'm only gonna do one hand i'm gonna do my thumb first you're gonna get the widest part of your nail don't think too hard about this i just feel like everyone that i've taught this to they think too hard about it it really doesn't matter just get like the middle of it so you're gonna get the line that's right here which is the end of you know the measurement and you're just going to hold it with your other finger and you're just going to wrap it so then the end of this one would be right there you would count it so one two three four five so this is 1.5 uh, centimeters you would look up cm to mm and it would just take you to a converter and then you would type in what it is so 1.5 is 15 millimeters so then on here my thumb size is a 15 millimeter so a size three so my first nail my thumb is going to be 15 millimeters my pointer finger 1.1 the point is there that one is 11 millimeters and then my middle finger is 1.2 so if you notice i'm kind of just eyeballing it like i'm not being too precise like i said 12 millimeters um my ring finger is a 1.1 so 11 millimeters my pinky is a 0.9 9 millimeters Okay, so as you can see, my sizes would be a three, a nine, an eight, a nine again, and then we don't have a nine millimeter, but the ten millimeter and the nine millimeters are like literally the same. So I would just do an eleven, a size eleven. So that would be my sizes if you're unsure of how you're doing it just try to do it to the best of your abilities and then maybe size up honestly do one size up since my nail sizes are like this that's why i would want to get a custom size so i can get like the correct 
the correct sizing. This method is fine. I just feel like it gets kind of confusing and not a lot of people will have a measuring tape. Maybe you do, but that is um, more or less how you would do that. So I would pick a custom size and then I'm gonna add to cart. I'm gonna view the cart and you'll see here there's an order special instructions and you would just put your custom size three, nine, eight, nine and 11 or because we only have small medium large and you want an extra small or an extra large you would just do that extra small or extra large the next method is the coin method this method is our favorite method we'd rather you do this one i know it's kind of tedious but this is the best way for us to get your nail size honestly so i will show you that right now like I said, it all goes into depth. This one I know is a little bit more complicated, so we will try this one. Okay, I'm gonna use my big iPad because I'm using my phone to record. I'm going to have a quarter right here. I'm going to place my hand like this. I'm gonna take the picture of the first four, and then the next one, I'm going to take a picture of my thumb. So two pictures. I'm so sorry, my iPad was blocking the whole thing. So here are the pictures of my hand and the quarter you're just going to do that and then you're going to send it over to our email which we have it listed here and we'd want you to email it to this it's just our store name kimikiyoko.team at gmail.com i would send both to it so both of those mail sorry if you hear my baby in the background <laughs> kimikiyoko dot team at gmail.com nail size and you're going to put your uh order number so order number two or something you can also put your name if you want thank you and it will send it we will receive it and if you are curious on how we do it because you're wondering if you never see this method before just in case for other people that want to add this method onto their website too you would grab the quarter and then you would size the quarter to the same size as the real quarter so like that like we kind of just want to see the edges just a little bit so then crap okay so then we would grab our nail sizes and we would just go one by one to see which one will fit. This one looks like it will fit very good. And yes, it fits very nice. So yeah, that's uh, the two ways if you want to use them or not. That's how we size it. I'm sorry this video is kind of awkward. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know how to do anything, <laughs> but I hope it helps. I hope that you're able to figure it out honestly the most generic thing you could do is just get a medium and you could describe in the checkout like if you aren't sure and if you feel you're a little bigger or you're a little smaller than that we will try to figure it out and work with you but like i said the best uh way for us is if you do the coin method we don't really care much for the measuring system because all of our nails are kind of different sizes like this is specifically for the almonds but our squares kind of run a little bigger so then we have to go and get that measurement and then go and measure all the squares to get your size it's better if you just take that picture girl don't be shy <laughs> we're here to help we want to make sure you have nice nails and we want to make sure your nails fit you all right thank you for watching Bye bye